Hi, everybody. I was just cutting out some fabric here. I'm going to put that away. Um, today we're going to do our SAS, SAS um, transfer, which is four of them. One says, step away from the fridge. I'm arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm explaining why I'm right. I'm sorry. Did I roll my eyes out loud? And if only sarcasm burn calories. Ain't that the truth? So what we're gonna do is I got this frame from um, Michaels. No, I lie. It's Amazon with the frame. So what we're gonna do is I already cut these out. We're gonna go ahead and put paste on this. I'm not using ink because we are not going to wash these. Um, so I'm gonna use the paste. I'm actually using shadow. What is it called? Shimmer shadow. To add a little bit of sparkle to it so then i'm going to hot glue it to the back of the frame and each one will have a different sass comet on there um let me see if i can pull myself up here do, 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 do. okay and it looks like it's frozen anyway so that's what we're going to do with that and then i got this little fabric flower and I think I'm going to put on the corner of the frame itself so and we're going to try to get these all in the center and try to keep them all nice and even so I hope you're all having a great day I don't know I'm having some technical difficulties here because this is stop moving. This one's moving. So I don't know. Hopefully it's working good on your guys' end. So all I don't have to lint the back of these because I've used them and we're using fabric. When you use fabric, you do not have to add extra lint. So what we're going to do is try to center in the middle with the wording as best as I can. Okay, looks about right. And like I said, we're using paste instead of um, ink today. So I don't plan on washing these. They're not going to be like tea towels or anything like that. It's going up on a wall, and that's really it. And when you're using fabric, you always want to go in one direction. That's pretty much the rule for anything, um, but especially fabric. Just in case you have a weird air bubble that you didn't catch, there's a good chance that it will work out for you. So, alright. Get that off. I'm going to take this off. I like it. I'm going to throw it in our water so it doesn't get dried on. Let's see. There's the very first one. Now, we can use our ink and our paste, really, with a little bit of watering down of the paste. Um, you can paint the fabric, and it stains it. Um, you can use it with ink. You can use it with paste. I've seen it done. So that's something to think about also. But right now, I'm going to keep it the beige-looking canvas that it is. And go to the next one. And I have my um, super glue on this time, so not my super glue, hot glue gun. Last time I didn't have that on and it wasn't set right, so it wasn't heating up. Alright. I'm hoping this is going to turn out. I believe my um, frames that I got were. Um, is this thing moving? Um, were three for. I want to say 20, but don't quote me. It's been a while since. I bought them again. Um, I actually have one left still. I also uh, used our um, chocolate chips and um, did like a little hanging thing on inside the window frame that came out real cute. Okay. Pull this one off. Oh, it came out so good. All right, 
and that's that one. Now when I did cut these to the frames, I did use a pencil on the one side, but I cut out a little bit bigger so I have a spot for the hot glue to go on it. So I thought about using our blue too, just to break it up, the black. I think we just stick with what I originally said I was gonna do, otherwise, you know, we could be here all day. Ouch. I'm second guessing if this is straight. I love how this canvas, if you pull on it, on the one side you put a little slight, uh, slice in it, it does this nice uh, pull look. Makes it look older than what it is. On this I'm not doing it just because I'm going to um, be framing it. Instead of, uh, but I was thinking about doing a t-shirt with it, like doing a, um, ink on something, one of our transfers, and then I was thinking of um, take some fab fabric, fabric, I can't talk today guys, fabric glue and adhere this to it to give it a nice little textured look. Um, so, we will see on that. Sometimes, because I don't put enough water in it, sometimes I get, a, I just get it in there to the bottom. So I'll give it a miss just so it gets on top too. Now this is the Shimmer Shadow. So it's black basically with um, some glitter to it. One of my favorite ones that we have. I don't think I showed you the last one. Okay. Hey, Sarah. So I'm pulling that one. Perfect. So I'm wearing my smock today, my little apron. Um, which is different for me, but this is the other one, and I don't think I showed you the thing. I don't know if you guys can see the little bit of sparkle it has to it. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to dry the paste, um, just because we're going to be hot gluing it, and I don't want to smudge anything. And that's another reason why I also use the paste on this because if I would have used ink, it would have had to set for like at least 12 hours to dry and then um, heat set in it. Um, the paste, the shimmer takes a little bit longer, but quite fast and I don't have to wait. And like I said, I'm not going to wash this. It's going to be super glued to a frame. So the most it might get is dust. Um, then I might have to dust it. Sarah, this is our Sass collection. It reminds me a lot of Jay.
we are doing the sass collection today. We are doing sass. I have all four. We're going to use this frame and I'm going to hot glue them in. I'm using the canvas um, that you got me addicted to. Yeah, the frame um, I got on Amazon, and I want to say it was three for like $20 when I got them, but it's been a while, um, so, you know, the price is how they're jumping now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the canvas in each frame, hopefully nice and tight, in the center hopefully too, and um, it has a little hook that hangs on it, so that is what we're going to attempt. And I was looking for wood, but I was like, this is nice and light. I didn't want to actually make it heavy. So, and I'm going to hope I glue it. And I got my um, glue gun working, too. I was telling him, too, that uh, um, about doing a t-shirt with the canvas on it. I think you're the one that showed that one. Um where you did the canvas on it and used the spray um, to adhere it to it. That was a hot glue, st a glue gun. <laughs> I'm pulling a Helen today with that one. Whew. That was a hot one. <laughs> but yeah, um, I want to say it was you. Yeah, see? Because I remember, because I had to order it on uh, Amazon, and but I'm thinking I gotta find a good saying for it, and uh, do one of those because I think that's cool. It just gives it that extra texture. Now let's hope I did this straight. <laughs> Blue string. So that's the first one. And what I like about this, using that hot glue gun, I could take this off and reuse it if I want to put something else in the frame or, you know. So it makes it a very versatile, um, versatile type surface. I've used our chocolate chips on these too um, and hung them in the middle with little sayings on it. I want to say it was for Valentine's Day. And uh, that came out really good on these. Whew. Well, my glue gun's working good today. For some reason, yesterday, it did not want to... Uh, heat up. Okay, let's see how that looks. So far, so good. So, let's go to the next. Tomorrow is supposed to be a gorgeous day. It's going to be in the 50s. <laughs> But I'm thinking about going out um, and taking some pictures and just enjoying the day um, a little bit. So I love taking photos. I'm hoping we can get some things blooming. Um, so I think that'll be fun. And I just learned. Oh, oh, that one of my paints must not have been totally dry. Or I had it on my hand. I also 
The weather actually isn't too bad. Oh, really? See? He picked a good week to come up then. Um, Mod Podge, I just seen that they have a whole new line. They have resin now. They have um, where you can do uh, wood um, photos on wood. and So I'm going to get that stuff because I want to play with that. Because I think that would be cool to do on like a, a board. Like pick an image or maybe even a file of mine. Um, put it on the wood and then go ahead and uh, put our uh, transfer on. Something like that. I'll make it something, you know, a little bit unique. So I want to try that out. Hey, Sophie. How have you been, hon? Yeah, I seen it. I think it was Aunt Michael's. No, Michael's popped up. It has a special tool. Um, one you can do on almost anything. Um, and you rub the... It's done on regular paper. Regular, like, copy paper. And then, um, like, if you want to put one on... Um, what is it? Like suede or something like that. There's a special heating tool. Hey, Cheyenne, honey, how are you? How's my baby? So I thought that was cool. So I have to wait from Amazon because Michael's was sold out um, for the heating tool. But I'm definitely uh, going to get that. I'll have to let you know how it comes out. So that's the frame. So, and I'm loving that. I got it pretty tight, so I was afraid it was going to have them, like, wrinkles in it. And then, this is from the Bloom Kit. <laughs> so I thought this would look cute probably right up in the corner, um, just to give it a little something. I really love these frames. And they weren't expensive. And I don't know what kind of material wood they use, because it's light. It's not, you know. I did sand it down a little bit more. Um, than what it comes, but I mean, it's white, distressed, and perfect. So, going ahead and gluing my little flower down, which is out of frame. There. And I knew I was going to use this flower um, with the kit because I didn't use all the flowers. I was like, well, I'm keeping it because I know I'll find something for it. You always do, you know? Get some of this glue soon. Alright, so that's what we have. So, like I said, I want to say these were $19.99. Um, this, you can get at anything like Joanne Fabrics, any place like that. Um, and I used paste, our um, Shadow Shimmer Paste. And it was really a simple project, and I love it. It might go on my wall this time. <laughs> so, if you guys have any questions thanks Helen um just let me know and um leave a comment message me whatever and I can get back to you and uh we'll go over anything that you have any questions on because I know there's such a big delay going on here so um yeah that's what we have today it went a, um, went a lot faster than I thought it was I thought it was going to go take forever to put together but it really did go well. Thanks everybody for your support. Have a good one.